Okay, welcome back to day number 20. Um, today, I just got back from the gym and I did a lot of handstand stuff and it just made me think of my wrists and how we haven't done any wrist strengthening or stretching yet. So, we should do that. So today is going to be a little bit calmer than yesterday. Maybe you need this after yesterday, what we did. Um, so we're going to focus on our wrists today. And let's go. Okay, let's go ahead and start in a tabletop position. And then we're just going to turn our wrists away from us. And don't dump any weight in your wrists here. You're holding a lot of weight in your knees, actually. And you're kind of just stretching, not putting any weight in your hands. And you can rock forward and back and make sure to breathe. And we can rock side to side once we're in the back. And breathe here. Beautiful. Oh, that's so yummy. And forward and back again. Keep breathing. And side to side again. And slowly release your hands, switching it to the tops of the hands on the floor now. So kind of going in the opposite direction, leaning back and swaying side to side here and breathe and slowly release shake your hands out a little bit we have some lawn work going on outside hold on okay i'm sorry if you can hear that we're just going to shake out our hands a little bit here and then interlace your fingers as you make small circles in one direction and then small circles in the other direction and breathing and going back the other way that you began with and the other way. Beautiful and shake it up. Now we're going to take the top of the hand, one hand on the ground, the other hand goes into a fist and you just put it in the palm of your hand. Coming up to your knees, you're gonna lean back a little bit here, and then we're just gonna move our elbow so we're really stretching out every part of the extensors. And breathe. Beautiful, and shake it out, and same thing on the other side. Putting the top of the other hand on the floor, fist in the hand, leaning back and moving that elbow so we really stretch out those if extensors. Beautiful. Nice. And shake them out again. And then we're just going to go ahead and come into a comfortable seated position, maybe crisscross. Almost crisscross, you guys! I'm so excited. Okay, cool. I don't want to push it. I'm gonna, not gonna hurt it. Um, now we're gonna bring our arms out into a T. And imagine someone is pulling you from either side. So really engaging all the way out. And then we're going to flip our wrist, strengthening our flexors. And then we're going to rotate fingertips to the ceiling, still working our flexors. And then flip, working our extensors, fingertips to the ground. And rotate. Imagine you're pushing two walls away, like you're in Star Wars. And flip, rotate, flip. Rotate, flip, rotate, flip, rotate. Couple more, flip, rotate, two more, flip, rotate, one more set, flip, rotate. 
and drop your arms down. Whew. That's actually really good to protect your wrists in the long run is strengthening both your flexors and your extensors because a lot of us uh, type all day or drive or pick up heavy things and put a lot of strain on our wrists. So strengthening your joints, joint strengthening the muscles around your joints is really going to help protect that joint. So work on the flip and switch and flip and switch and flip and switch. And I think that's it for today. Short, sweet, and to the point. Okay, that was it for today, you guys. I'm sorry if you heard whoever is working power tools out there. Um, but yeah, like I said, really important to strengthen the wrists as well as just stretching it because that's a joint that is very delicate and we use our hands all the time. So make sure to flip and rotate as often as you can. Okay, see you tomorrow for day 21. Hello you guys, it is day 20 and I forgot how to say I looked, I didn't look it up. I'll do it in a little bit. Okay. Ah, no, I can't.